Three, two, one, go. Slow build up. This reminds me of playing a video game or something in the old days. A video arcade or something. I'm going to look up the lyrics while we're listening to this, so if you're wondering what I'm doing. Is that a synth bass or a real bass? I think it's a real bass.
very nice. It's a cozy album, right? It takes you into a cozy place. You feel like you're in a warm, cozy spot. Uh, the lyrics are cool. Why should I be good if you're not? Truth will mess you up. Uh, truth will mess you up. Yeah, I like the lyrics. As a prog fan, you know, I don't only listen to prog. And I think that Radiohead appeals to me. It should appeal to prog people who like prog. I don't believe that they are self-consciously prog at all. I do believe, though, that they are experimental. And really, uh, experimental does fall under the category of prog. This is more indie rock slash experimental. You know, like they're not your typical indie rock band who are trying to throw together verse, chorus, bridges kind of songs. You know, they're or are kind of trying to appeal to radio in any way to appease appease the radio kind of markets and they are just to me very artistic anyways uh let's continue with the the album Wow, that sedated me, that song. That just made me feel really relaxed. Yeah, the lyrics are more imagery uh, going on than the lyrics, you know, through the dry bush. I don't know where it leads. It says, before that, it says, and the path trails off and it heads down a mountain. Yeah, the imagery there certainly uh, takes me to uh, hiking in California because I lived there for a couple of years, actually, in San Francisco. And so that's what that song triggered in me, some memories there. And songs do that, don't they? Now we're going on to num track number seven. There's 11 tracks on this album that came out in 2016, which is really not that long ago. I'm listening now to some music that's relatively recent. <laughs> the name of the album is in this song. Moon-shaped pool.
now I'm noticing the, the distorted guitar there. Not much on this album of that. Well, looking up at Genius.com for lyrics, and it mentioned that an identikit is when they take the sections, I guess, of the face, chin, mouth, and all that, eyes, and they piece it together for, for victims of a crime or something, trying to identify somebody. Now we're going to move on to the next song, and let's go. Three, two, one, go. This is The Numbers. Acoustic guitar reminds me of some 70s songs.
did some, through some interesting chord changes there. Pretty heavy on the strings this album, man. What is that? It's something backwards, obviously, but cool. Uh, yeah, great tune. There's no rockers in this album at all. Um, I, I suppose anyone who came to this album and really wanted to hear some rockin' songs, you know, some just straight-ahead rock. I don't know. Radiohead does that sometimes, right? I mean, they're not always uh, softer or introspective music. They do some rock-out stuff, too, right? Right? Uh, leave me some comments below. What are their, what do you think are their most rock and straightforward songs? We're down to uh, three tracks left. For part three, click the link at the top left part of the screen, and also the link is in the description below. For part three, click the link at the top left part of the screen, and also the link is in the description below.